The United Kingdom's Home Secretary is planned to accommodate thousands of migrants in Marquis at disused military site have been criticized as staggering and cruel by a leading refugee charity. The tent will start to be erected over the coming weeks as part of emergency plans to deal with an expected surge of channel crossings over the next few months. There is more in this report. It's not the first time the UK government is using giant tent to bolster its facilities to deal with asylum seekers. The plan is part of Swilla Breverman's mission to end the reliance on housing asylum seekers in hotels, which is costing the taxpayer around six pounds a day. A source familiar with the processing centre said the site has been beefed up with new and improved marquees after huge criticism about conditions and overcrowding last year. But with the recent arrival of the first asylum seekers at a former air base in Essex, the Home Office is also planning to erect tent to provide accommodation at repurposed large sites like this, prompting anger from community with my who were grant. They treat them as a, as a second-class citizen or obviously worse than human. Obviously, what, they were, what, what will they achieve? If they put them in a hotel or a decent accommodation, they are human beings. Let, let's, let's treat them as a human being rather than treat them as animals. More than 50,000 asylum seekers are already being housed in hotels around the country. And the government wants to avoid expensive last-minute bookings in the event of a surge in late summer channel crossings. Very nice uh, for us. It's better than uh, we compare things from here and our country that's why it's better than in our country but if the government thought the prospect of staying in a tent might be a deterrent reports found no evidence of that some asylum seekers were seen heading back to hotel accommodation in the midlands the government's strategy to reduce hotel accommodation also includes using a barge in dorset there is long-standing asylum accommodation in this country which should be completely sufficient for everything that we need that has been in place for very, very many years. If they properly cleared the backlog, they wouldn't need to use any of these things. Labour says the accommodation crisis must be resolved by dealing with people's claims. The Home Office also says all accommodation offered to asylum seekers meet its legal requirements and migrants will have no choice where they ascend.